I almost always put the looper pedal in the effects loop, but that isn't the only way to set up a looper pedal in your signal chain. A lot of people also put it at the end of their chain. And by end of the chain, I, I mean absolutely at the end of the chain. So after reverb, after everything else, the very end. And the reason why it's best to do either one of these two methods is because most of us, we want the ability to record something, to record a loop, but then have the ability to bypass or turn effects on and off as we want and then jam over that loop or over that recording with you know a dry signal or a wet signal or something to that effect. Yeah, so if you tried that same concept, but with the looper pedal in a different position, it wouldn't work because the moment you turn off all the effects, it would turn off all the effects on the loop as well. So you would just have a dry signal again and it would be really boring. So essentially, I think having the looper in the effects loop, that's more conducive to a performance. So yeah, we're gonna try the same thing now, but we're gonna try it, but with the looper pedal at the beginning in the chain, and I'll show you what that's like. So as you can see, we got some drive and some reverb and some delay on the sound. So what happens if we turn all that off? Now we got a really dry loop. So we don't really want that, or maybe you do want that. I guess it's up to you and, and what you decide. But for me, I think it makes the most sense to be able to record the loop with the effects on and then take it off after if you want to. Now, my case is a little bit special and the reason why is because I use the JHS little black amp box. And what this does is, is that I put this in the effects loop at the very end and it acts as an additional volume control, a more nuanced volume control. That way I don't make my neighbors mad because in case you don't know, as many of you probably know about guitar amplifiers, when you at two, it's too loud, but then if you go a slightly below two, then it's too quiet and you can barely hear it. So if you're using an amp like I am, even a tube amp as well, and you wanna get the most out of it, you can crank your amp to you know three or four so the tubes are hot. Even if it's solid state, the same principle applies. And then you use this to turn the volume down in a way that's more specific and in a way that's more custom to what you need, like if you're in an apartment. So if you are doing that, like I am, this is actually the last unit in your effects loop. And then this is the second last. But in most cases, if you're not using a little black, if you're not using a volume attenuator, your looper pedal will go at the end, either in your effects loop in the end or at the end of your regular chain in front of your amp.